Yo, listen up. I need y'all to stop what y'all doing and go to thefora.com and get that new book by Lakey the Kid through Fora. And while you at it, cop some merch too. Mixtapes and DVDs is my era. Facts. We did it better. Yep. Pelly Pelly Leathers, Facts. ACG Boots. Uh. We 80s babies Ooh. in early 90s when it got grimy. I was out of this world, you could not find no. me. Unless you check the lobby, hustling was my hobby. Damn. We was lobby boys yep. before Jim Jones. Damn. You could catch me at Harlem eating Jim Bones. Uh. Now in today's episode of Fatal, we're going to talk about two hip-hop artists that was in situations that could have got fatal. First artist we're going to speak on is Detroit rapper Obi Trice and the time he was shot in his head, which could have been deadly. Now second of all, we're going to speak on the top goon of Philly and the time he was shot 10 times and could have nearly died. Now this episode 2 of Fatal with Obi Trice and A.R. Ab, and this is their story. Now, Obi Trice is a rapper from Detroit, Michigan. After Bizarre D12 heard Obi's music and built a relationship with him, Bizarre would meet up with Eminem to play him Obi's music. Now, while playing Obi's music for M, Bizarre would strangely get a phone call from Obi, so Bizarre would invite Obi to meet Eminem in person, being that he was close by at the time. Obi Trice would eventually sign the Shady Records and go on the Anger Management Tour along with Eminem, and after he created a buzz for himself, Obi Trice would drop his debut album for Cheers, September 23rd, 2003. The album would debut at number 5 and sold about a quarter million records his first week. His debut album, which featured artists like Eminem, Eminem, Lloyd Banks, 50 Cent, and Nate Dogg, just to name a few, will eventually go gold. Now, with all the success that Obi was getting in the music industry, he was gearing up to drop his sophomore album for Second Rounds on Me. But before he could drop his singles for Snitch and Cry Now and work with artists such as Akon, Trey Songs, and Trick Trick, just to name a few, Obi Trice to find himself in some trouble that he might not made it out of. Now, according to Obi Trice, on December 31st, 2005, he went to Club Envy to meet up with comedian. And Mike Epps, but when he arrived at the club, Mike Epps was gone. Now, as he left the club, six shots was fired at Obi and struck him in the back of his head. I'm talking to my daughter's mother. It was just a whistling sound, like five bullets just came through the vehicle, and the fifth one struck me in the back of the head. Now, I'm gonna get into an article from TMZ explaining the whole situation with Obi Trice being shot in his head. Now, this article dates back to December 31st, 2005. December 31st, Obi Trice was shot early Saturday while driving on the city highway, police said. Trice, a Detroit native and protege of Eminem, was on large freeway about 1.10 a.m. when his vehicle was shot at by someone in another car, said Michigan State Police Mario Gonzalez. Trice managed to continue driving and exit the freeway in the suburb of Southfield, where his girlfriend, who was also in the vehicle, flagged down police, Gonzalez said. The girlfriend wasn't wounded. He was taken to Providence Hospital where he was treated and released, said the hospital spokesman Brian Teller. There were no suspects in the shooting, which was under investigation by the state police detectives, Gonzalez said. Trice has performed on Eminem Records and with 50 Cent. His 2003 album Chairs was produced by Eminem, and he also had a small part in the feature 8 Miles. So basically, Obi Trice and his baby moms was on the highway after leaving the club, and a car pulled up behind him and fired five to six shots shots striking him in his head now when obi was in the hospital being treated for his bullet wound in his head the doctor decided to leave a bullet in his skull because he said it was dangerous to remove it now obi even states when he got out the hospital and he went to get his car back from the cops he found some of the bullets that was fired at him inside his car still now what it sound like to me is that he found them bullets because the cops really ain't do no investigation you now obi trice mentioned him being shot in his head on a song called cry now off his second album now one of the reference he made involving the shooting on his song was him saying x-rays say i was this close to heaven so for future reference i stay close to a weapon now after obi trice was shot he'll leave shady records in 2008 and put out two records that didn't do too well for his 2012 release for bottoms up and for his 2015 release for the hangover now obi trice to have some legal issues recently supposedly obi shot his girlfriend teenage son during an argument back in 2019 2020 and he was sentenced to 90 
days in jail. And in 2022, Obi was arrested and given a $10,000 bond for using a phone to harass and threaten someone. But anyway, Obi Trice is alive and well. And he survived the shot to the head to be able to talk about it. So salute to him. OBA's Records, King of Amp. I got my own record company. I signed myself. Check this out. This is a half a million dollars on the table, man. This is a half a million dollars on the table. I just feel like y'all got too excited when Birdman paid me my 200 grand. Like, that's some real money. I've been had that money. I felt like y'all believe I was broke before I got that 200. This is a half a million dollars. Huh? This is tight money, I bet. OBH Records, I got my own company. Huh? This is OBH Records. I got my own company. I'm independent for real. I'm independent. I, don't, I signed myself. I don't have no boss. I've never had a boss in my life. King Ad, OBH, this is half a million dollars, man. Huh? You count it. Half a ticket, man. OBA's records, man. Y'all want to sign OBA's records, man? Jump in my DM. I sign out of night. Now, A.R. Ab is a rapper from Philly, most known for his affiliation with other Philly rapper Cassidy. Cassidy and A.R. Ab drop songs like City of Dreams featuring French Montana, Gangsta, Too Much Money, and a bunch of legendary freestyles at various radio stations like The Come Up Show with DJ Cosmic Kev. Cassidy and A.R. Ab would eventually fall out, and A.R. Ab will push his own group, OBH. During the Meek Mill and Drake beef, Drake would use A.R. Ab as a chess piece by mentioning A.R. Ab name on his disc record back to back which got AR a lot of attention now after Drake mentioned AR Ab on back to back it would be rumors of him signing the OVO but in the Vlad TV interview Ab would dismiss the rumors now Birdman will also have interest in the Philadelphia rapper AR Ab signing the cash money but even though the deal was never official the two managed to keep a close relationship with each other now AR Ab is the definition of too raw for TV he get an interviews and talk about blocks he hustle on weight he's selling people he done shot shootouts he got in work he done robbed from people all kinds of criminal activities ar ab was different now ar ab story is a little different from other rappers because ar ab was actually still in the streets while he was getting a little exposure with rap he was still in the streets hustling he still was in the street doing his thing and previous to him being shot 10 times ar ab was shot three times but we gonna speak on him getting shot 10 times and let's get into it. Now according to AR Ab, he says before he was shot 10 times prior to that, a few weeks earlier, he robbed some guys for a few bricks. Now AR Ab said he's gonna hit a lick. He's going to another town of Philly. He has his cousin in the front seat with him in the passenger side. And then he got a dude that he's cool with in the back seat. Now, the guy in the back seat knows the guys that he's going to sell his work to. So, basically, the guy in the back seat is playing the middleman. He's going to line everything up for AR Ab. And, obviously, he's going to put his points on it and be paid. So, the guy in the back seat hops off the car with the work. He goes to his people, give them the work, get the money or whatever. And he's walking back to the car. As he's walking back to the car, he's smoking a cigarette. So AR Ab is like, get in the car, don't worry about it. So the dude like, nah, I don't want to smoke the cigarette in your car. AR Ab said he looks up the block, things are looking sus, dudes is moving funny. So he said to the guy like, yo, we out, get in the car, let's go. The guy finally gets in the car and, you know, they start to have a conversation. Now AR Ab says sarcastically like, yo, you know, I know your baby moms or whatever. And the dude was like, oh, word, but A.R. Ab didn't tell him where he know her from. You get what I'm saying? So he probably had relationships with this dude, baby moms. So he said the dude showed him a picture of his kid that he had with her. And he said as they get to the light, he just hear gunshots going off. So now A.R. Ab is thinking the gunshots is coming from the guy in the back seat. So he looked back at him like, yo, what you doing? And he realized that the guy was ducking for cover. So he said he turned back around. And as he looked to the side, he seen the car pull off. And so the gunshots was coming from the car beside him. And he said the guy in the back seat then jumped from the back seat out the car and ran. So now A.R. Ab looked down at himself and he see all the bullet holes in him. His legs, his stomach, his hand or whatever. He looked to his cousin and he just started driving himself to the emergency room, running red lights and everything. Now the whole time he was driving himself to the emergency room, he said he was praying and just praying to God. And he said to his cousin, like, yo, they're going to use my car for investigation. So when I get to the emergency room, just take my car 
and take my phone too because it's stuff in my phone i don't want my girl to see so now when he reached the front of the er he got out his car and he collapsed and his cousin started to panic and he was just like yo man get the car and get up out of here i'm good i'm gonna be okay and you know next thing you know ar ab said he woke up in the hospital with a colostomy bag now ab even mentions that he don't know where the shooting came from it could have been from some people he shot back in the day and plus he said it was money on his head he heard he heard it was 10k on his head maybe 20 maybe 30 so he don't know where that shooting came from and nobody's going to claim it because they know it's going to be on now ar ab is currently in jail for running a drug ring and he was sentenced to 45 years in jail. I'm quite sure he got his lawyers on deck so they could put them appeals in and get his time reduced. So free AR app. But anyway, hit the comment section and tell me what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'm out. One.